Basil Grande. Okay, we chill down our cocktail cube, soda, crushed ice. Got our Boston glass. I'm going to start with uh, four strawberries. Don't take the green mitts off them, you don't need to. Just throw them in, they're only going to be muddled. You need to take the green mitts off the strawberries when you're blending them. Nice big fresh bunch of basil. I'm looking for four to five leaves. Give them a little slap. Release the flavours and the smells. And then I'm just going to take one really pretty leaf right now, just for garnish. Leave that there. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, two counts of Chambord. Give it a quick muddle. Remember, when you're making the Basil Grande, don't pour all of your liquid ingredients in there. Just pour the Chambord in, then muddle, then add the rest of your liquid ingredients. Otherwise, you'll make a mess of yourself in your station. Beautiful. Wash the muddler. Okay, then we add, oop, over this side, Grand Marnier, we've got four count. One, two, three, four. 25 mils of cranberry juice, again. Big scoop of ice. Tin over the top, and seal, and then shake. Boston glass straight in the sink. We're just going to single strain this one. The crushed ice and soda straight in the sink. Make sure there's no excess water left in that glass. And then pour. Do a little mix around, get the rest of that liquid out there. Cool. Again, make sure this goes straight in the bin. Glass comes out the sink, you're turning your strainer to go in. Make sure there's no little bit of strawberry left on your strainer either. Okay, and for garnish, we have black pepper first. One big turn. And then your basil leaf, which is going to turn inside out, so it's like a little basil leaf boat, sits on the top like that. It's important that the black pepper goes on first. You want the black pepper to mix with the strawberry flavour, not sit on top of the basil leaf. And there we have it, basil grande.